Hey everyone, it's Dustin from Wild Earth. Uh, you may remember me from either a weekend program or a school program, but I'm here today at my homestead in Codicill with Zach, and we are shooting uh, a video about how to make pine pitch glue. So why would you want to make pine pitch glue? Uh, pine pitch glue is a glue that uh, has been used for a very long time by humans, um, and it's very simple to make and a primitive form of glue that you can use for gluing together your knife handles or uh, putting your uh, arrowheads on your arrows, even sealing uh, baskets to make them waterproof. So um, we're gonna make some pine pitch glue and I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it. Okay, so here's step one. Um, it's get your charcoal. Uh, so if you have an old fire pit where there's some black charcoal sitting around, uh, you want something that's gonna look like this. Um, you are going to collect that before you start your fire because um, now obviously I can't really get my charcoal, it's, it's red hot. Uh, but if you have an old or if you have an old fire pit you can collect it there or if you have something like this, this is great because um, you can have a fire in one of these all year round and you don't have to worry about uh, the fire bands because this, this is a safe container. Uh, and if you're going to do this at home and you're a kid, uh, make sure you have a grown up with you. But first thing first, take some charcoal and put it aside, start your fire. All right, so we're here for step two, and step two is collect the pine sap. Uh, for collecting the pine sap, what you're gonna need is a metal can. Uh, this is an old soup can that I took the label off of, and a nice, sturdy, firm stick. And the st stick is gonna help you collect sap. This can get messy, um, but that's why you can wear gloves or we're gonna use this stick for collection. So you find where uh, this, this, this pine tree is just covered of, uh, with dripping sap, and it's actually literally just dripping off the bottom of this branch. And uh, pine trees, you can pretty much always find some sap, but um, look for one that has a fresh woodpecker hole or uh, has recently been cut or damaged and you can find clusters in areas where there's just lots of pine sap uh, gooping up and globbing up like this and that's what you're gonna wanna collect. Okay, so here is what our collection of sap looks like. It's a little bit hard on the outside, but uh, don't be fooled. It's still very sticky and pliable, and we're gonna put that in our soup can. Now that we have our pine sap, we can move on to step three. Uh, step three is to slowly heat up the pine sap until it melts into a liquid. And um, you can either do this on a grill top, the way that I'm doing it, so that the heat is hitting it, but it's not directly in the fire, or you can do it on a bed of charcoals. And the reason that you wanna do it slowly and not let it boil is because once it gets too hot, the terpenes um, that are the adhesive inside this glue um, will be destroyed. So you have to slowly heat it up in order for it to keep its stickiness. Uh, crush up the charcoal into a fine powder. So here I have a nice round flat stone and um, I'm going to use it to crush this charcoal. So I want to make it as fine as I can. And the reason that you're adding charcoal to um, your melted pine sap is because this is going to act as the binder. And what the binder does is it gives the glue its structure and um, its strength. And without the binder, uh, you would just have some sticky, melty sap. So um, charcoal is a great binder. And then another great binder, um, if you have pet rabbits at home, uh, you can put add in a little bit of super dry looking uh, rabbit dung. Um, that also works as a good binder. And how much charcoal to use depends on how much sap you have. I don't have a ton of sap in my can, um, so I'm not gonna use a ton of charcoal. And it's not an exact science, it's more of kind of like a, um, you, you slowly add it and as it thickens, but you don't want to add too much charcoal because if you add too much charcoal, your glue will become hard and brittle and fall apart. Um, so it, it's one of those things that may take some practice. So now I've got a decent amount of powder. I'm going to add it to my can. Now, now that the charcoal is mixed in with the uh, pine sap, what I'm looking for is it to thicken and now I have to allow it to cool because um, once it cools down, uh, it'll start to harden and then um, we can make a glue stick. So 
what I've done is I've taken all of the glue out of the can and I've added it to this stick little by little and I'm as it cools down I'm kind of like working it and shaping it um, you, as you can see um, I can I can mold it with my hands and it's it's because it's cooling it's it's not sticking anymore and it'll be great because uh, I can put this away as it gets totally cool and have glue handy um, so if I when I want to use it as glue again I will heat it back up and apply as little or as much as this glue as I want. Here's how it should look. Um, smooth, shiny, and uh, it's starting to harden, but I'm hoping it's gonna be just the right form. Okay, so I'm just warming up this glue that has been cooled and hardened, uh, just enough to uh, be able to use it again. Um, once it starts to get sticky or melty looking like it is now, um, it's ready to go. So, taking this matchstick, I'm going to apply some of this um, recently heated glue. Uh, nice glob on there. And we're gonna stick it to this board. Sticks, st it's very sticky, sticks to your fingers too. But there you go, and as, uh, as that glue cools, it'll harden and hold that match stick in place. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video of how to make pine pitch glue. Uh, I hope you'll be watching more, and please reach out if you have any questions.